This video explains the general process of humification. Mr. Fulvik's plant complex AGT50 is derived from a prehistoric humate that is high in organic acids, particularly fulvic acid. Humic and fulvic acids are the end result of humification. Our natural environment contains carbon-based compounds from plant and animal matter that is recycled by decomposition. Trees, broken limbs, shrubs, and leaves fall to the forest floor, or they are swept into wetlands, bogs, streams, and lakes. Composting is the natural process of recycling organic matter. It occurs through microbes in the soil that eat the material. But other factors like moisture, oxygen, sunlight, and temperature set up the right environment for this process to occur. Composting accelerates the breakdown of organic matter into essential nutrients that form a nutritious substrate for plants to grow. Sunlight, moisture, and oxygen creates an environment that encourages microorganisms to multiply. A diversity of microbes and insects are essential for healthy crops. As the microorganisms eat the organic material, they leave acids, proteins, carbohydrates, and sugars in the soil, and these are quickly utilized by developing plants. Organic acids are considered the spark of life because they conduct electricity. For plants, this energy is in the form of organic acids. The tiny ion voltage gives organic acids their ability to attract minerals and other elements in the soil that plants can access through their root system. Decomposed organic plant material becomes compost, and then, if left undisturbed over millions of years, they eventually form into a humate. A humate is the final stage of mature compost. Time and weather are the greatest factors in changing the molecular structure of our soils into Earth's major deposits that we know today, like fossil fuels, metals, and mineral deposits, gold, silver, crystals, and rare gems, coal deposits, and humate deposits. Virtually any element or mineral we mine today was created millions of years ago during the formation of our Earth. The humates we know and use have many classifications, such as peat, coal, lenardite, lignite, some types of shale and clay deposits, as well as exudate from the Himalayan mountain range. These humate substances are all millions of years old. This is where humates like humic acid and fulvic acid come into play. There are several sources of humates in the world. All have different characteristics depending upon where they originate and how old they are. Humates carry ancient plant molecules known as phytochemicals. These phytochemicals have great benefits for feeding and nourishing new seed sprouting and the development of vigorous disease-resistant crops. To summarize, Humification is the composting and decomposition of organic materials by microbes, heat, and time. The end product are humic substances which can vary in their molecular composition but are broadly considered humic acid, which is mostly broken down material, and fulvic acid, which is completely broken down until it is stable. Fulvic acid is considered a fraction of the humic acid. As humic acid condenses, its molecules become smaller these smaller molecules are the fulvic portion of a humate substance. Humates contain organic acids, which transport energy and nutrients into plant cells for the best plant health possible. We hope you enjoyed this video. Contact agtonic.com to learn more.